Today I'm making bacon wrap stuffed chicken breast. I have chicken breast of course and today I'm using a meat mallet that someone bought me. I usually use a hammer uh, wrapped in plastic. So this has three sides to it and don't use the prong side because that would just tear your chicken up. I'm using the flat side instead. And of course I have some bacon to wrap the chicken breast in after I stuff them. So I'm just going to pound these out, then I'm only going to use four of these. I'll freeze the rest of the chicken breast. And then I'm going to put stuffing in these, and this is just a box of stovetop stuffing that I've made ahead. And I'm also uh, using some gravy that is from a jar. And yes, I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for that, but if you have all day to spend in the kitchen and you can make everything from scratch, that's great. If you just need to get dinner on the table, then this is the way to go. Go ahead and pre preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Get these all wrapped up and insert toothpicks into those to keep the bacon in place while they bake. And you're going to bake this about 45 minutes. Really, it just depends on the thickness of your chicken. I'm going to bake my chicken breast on a pan that has a wire rack on it. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing it so they don't sit in any of the grease. So just uh, finish wrapping up as many of the chicken breast as you like. Get those in the oven and that's really all the work there is to it. Just set your timer at uh, 30 minutes to check and then just keep setting your timer for maybe 10 minutes more at a time until they're done and the bacon is crisp. I didn't add any salt or other spices to these because the bacon does have a lot of sodium and the stuffing has a lot of spices, but if you prefer, you can always add more. And now I'm changing cutting boards to get ready for the chicken when it's done. Even though I baked my chicken for 45 minutes, the bacon still wasn't as crispy as I like it. So I'm finishing it on top of the stove in a pan just to crisp the bacon up a little more. And now I'm putting this on some gravy in a dish. And these are very big servings. So really all you would need would be maybe a side salad. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.